Good morning. It is 8.20. Nope. Now it's 8.40. Just kidding. I was completely lying. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm headed off to class because it is Friday, which means I have class pretty much all day. Later on should be a lot of fun. I have a cocktail party to go to. Cocktail party. Just like drinks, whatever. Didn't sleep that well last night because my cough got worse and like when you have a cough you kind of have to like sit up while you're sleeping, which is just like not fun at all, even though I took cough medicine that tasted like blueberries, like artificial blueberries, like that blue raspberry flavor. Oh, hideous. So now I'm going to head off to class. So this looks a bit familiar, but um, I am back home. I actually got out of class early, so now I'm going to edit my video for today and then uh, do some work. Work? That's what I was trying to say. Do some work. Because Sunday I'm going to visit my family, which means Sunday is like a no-go for work. Can't do anything on Sunday. And tomorrow I have plans, so gotta get it all done today. I thought since Zayn released a new video for Pillow Talk, I would review it for you live and give you my reaction. Even though, I will admit, I have watched it three times and I've listened to it a lot. Okay, cool. Full screen this. Also, are he and Gigi dating? Was that like supposed to give it away? He looks so not into it. Ugh, Gigi's so pretty. Yes, I know the words. It's a lot of nakedness. I don't know how to feel about this blonde hair on Zane. Like, he could have done a better job on lip syncing. Like, put some emotion in it, man. So does he just get to talk about sex now because he left One Direction? Like, is that in the contract? Like, they were like, no sex during One Direction, but like, after that, when you leave, yeah, like, just sing about sex all the time. <laughs> cool. Not a fan of the blood coming out of her eyes. Yeah, just like a makeout sesh. Like, no big deal. I am going to admit, that I like it. I also think that he just literally, this is like a slap in the face to One Direction. Like he was like, cool guys, I'm leaving the band. Like all of a sudden, like can't do this kind of thing. And then he like said he'd like never wanted to be in One Direction or something like that. And then he also said that he was gonna go back to school and like when his grandchildren ask him something like, hey grandpa, like you can't tell me what to do because like you were a musician. He was like, no, but I got an education. Is this going to school? Like, are you going to bed? Is that going to school? Is that the equivalent? Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, so I have mixed feelings, clearly, because like, I love One Direction, I love me some Harry Styles, like I will always be a Harry Styles girl, but like Zayn kind of like, is winning right now. Not winning, but like, you know what I mean? Like he just like took this little leap to go and like do something for himself. I would love a Harry Styles solo career, like absolutely love. That is my reaction to Zayn's pillow talk. Okay, I decided I really wasn't feeling my makeup, so I'm gonna redo my makeup because I have a cocktail party to go to tonight. So, uh, mirror, and I'm gonna clip my hair back so it's not on my face. Which also is just the most attractive look because I look like a 12 year old when I do it. Yay! 12 year old. Let me talk you through this, I guess. Um, so I've been using the Smashbox Camera Ready CC Cream. Cool, yeah. So I use a thin layer of that as like a base slash like primer, I wanna call it. It also has SPF in it, so I've been using it been using it. I used it in Cape Town to like make sure that my skin didn't get sunburnt. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that all over. Cool. Done with that. <clears throat> wow. My throat really hurts, man. Lol. Okay. Time for concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla Light 2. I literally only use it underneath my eyes and then I get a lot of redness like around my nose probably should use concealer in other places but like ain't nobody got time for that I know you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's like the most gentle finger but mm, just don't have time for that either I'm using the NARS luminous weightless all-day foundation in Gobi light 3 because for some reason concealer and foundation are different I think I have six or seven pumps of that on my hand I am so excited for that velvet matte skin tint to come out so I can just use that every single day. I still have like my little trial size here but I'm running low and I only like to wear it when I'm just like not trying because it looks like I haven't put on any makeup at all really which is just wonderful. I always feel weird because people can like look in and see me doing this and see that I'm filming it and be like sup guys. Okay then NARS Laguna Bronder. My bronzer? My bronzer. Whole group of people just looked right in. Now I'm going to use the I forget who this is by. Oh, Nude Sticks. That's what it is. It's a sculpting pencil. Oh, I'm almost done with this side. Uh, and this is the deep contour side. So I draw little lines. 
And then I put a little drop of water on my beauty blender so that it's like more of a natural look. Contour done. I'm gonna do from the Buffer Festival Inglot palette. This is not my brush. Don't know why I picked that one up. This is the brush. Um, this top left hand corner one. Don't know what the shade is called. It's just a very light nude. Then we go in with the By Terry Ombre Black Star in 11 Beyond Gold. And I put like a tiny smudge on each eye. And then I rub it in. Uh, mascara, Benefit Roller Lash. Like the best thing I've ever used, ever. Then the Benefit Gimme Brow in light medium, I think this is. The sky wasn't big enough for them all. The birds they got have fun. I don't know what I'm doing. I think that the makeup is done. I gotta do something about this hair. That's it. I'm gonna put on some lipstick later, which I'm actually gonna use. Ah, NARS, Barbara, which I wore at Buffer Festival. Am I a beauty vlogger yet? Yeah, oh yes. So I'm gonna put that on later for now. I'm just gonna chill, cause I have about like an hour until I need to go. So I'll like, well, chilling out, max and relaxing all cool, you know? Maybe I'll listen to Pillow Talk some more. Yeah, I actually probably will. Cool. So we, well, Quinn is here now. Hi. It's a bit later on in the day. You can probably tell because uh, there's no sun. Uh, we're going to visit my friend Carter who just had a hip surgery. Um, so I'm not going to film in there because I, hospitals freak me out and uh, don't really want to. So I will see you guys after the hospital. We're at Candle Cafe. I'm with Quinn and Taylor. I don't even know if I can. Yep, got them in shot. Good. I got the black bean burger. Quinn got really pretty guacamole. Oh, oh, focus. Guac. Burger. Also burger. Burger. Same thing but different. <laughs> okay. Look who it is. Maybe 13 years old. <laughs> we're at JC's apartment now. At this cocktail party. I have a G and T. How's it going? Stella. Stella. So we've decided to just set up camp on the couch and wait for people to greet us. <laughs> so basically, anytime somebody comes to the door, they come to us, shake our hands. We're like, we own this place. Hello, I don't own this place. I don't live here. Like, she doesn't even go here. Go home. Yeah. She doesn't even go. Here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna get another G and T and then hope that I don't make myself incredibly awkward in front of everybody. Cool. I look like it. this hat is so big. Why? Yeah. Whose hat? Whose hat is this big? Take it off. Remove it. Oh god! I just got stuck. Wait. Yeah. Fix it. Fix that one. <laughs> we just entered the fun house. Apparently. Oh. Oh, that's another. Oh. But like. Oh, hello. Wow. Hi. Hey. Hi. How's it going? I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Um, can we acknowledge that this is a really good selfie lighting right now? Because I really need to take a new picture. <laughs> <laughs> Casual vlogging and Snapchatting on, you know? Same time. Okay. Spinning so around cool. in the mirror. Spinning around. Okay, I'm dizzy. I gotta go. Whoa. I know, I know. I made those mistakes. That's awesome. Twice. Are you not going to the room? Bad ones are twice. I mean, maybe a couple of hundred times. So we're in the bathroom, as you can probably tell because of the echo, and we're going to have one more drink, and then we're going to go. Echo! Didn't work. <laughs> it was so delayed. Oh, my eyes have been twitching for two hours. My eyes are watering, so this I feel one. like I'm crying every five seconds. This one. Help me. I also am <sighs> way overdressed. Alright, so yeah, so now we're walking to the subway to go home. I really want vegan ice cream. Also, my eye has been twitching all night. And now it's just like perpetually closed. All right, my hand is cold, so I'm putting away this camera. Cool, so I just got home. My throat really hurts because I've been speaking all night. I am going to head off to bed, so I will end the vlog here. So, thank you guys so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Just watched Troy and Ellen, and I feel like a proud mom. That's really sad, but like, that was so sweet. He was so good. Oh my god, like he's really great live. I am so excited to see him on March 1st. Would like to see him on March 2nd. If anybody still wants to trade tickets, let me know. Lol, comments below.